if the business is, is gone from an overwhelmingly physical business 10 years ago, um, and really that's that sort of the queue was the advent of iTunes, which is now 10 years old, to now an overwhelmingly digital business. And you know, what's changed, I think, for us is, you know, digital was always perceived as a threat initially, and it certainly devastated the business. Um, and, you know, the business hasn't fully recovered, but it's changed. And, you know, it, there are signs of growth now. So we've adapted to the digital landscape. And I think the way we service music now is much more consumer focused. We go direct to music fans as opposed to media owners. Uh, we have a far better dialogue with music consumers and understand their tastes and habits. And actually, certainly, particularly from the UK point of view, is you know we sign locally, but we market globally instantaneously. So I can point to things like One Direction. One Direction happened almost globally at the same time it broke in the UK because we were able to find those pockets of interest through social media and we'd be able to serve up music wherever, whenever people wanted it. And I think that's been a huge change for us. What we provide, and again, this is, this is where the business has changed so much, is you know, we can globalise you very quickly. We can scale you very quickly. But frankly, I won't sign an act now unless they've got some kind of digital footprint. Um, and that's not really because I'm looking for my job to be easy. Well, I am, partly. But it's also, I think, it's the will of the artist. So my view is... You know, if an artist has got the aptitude to go out there and make music and find an audience and play live and build a community, that means they've got the ambition to grow and get bigger and this is something they're taking deadly seriously. If an artist hasn't done that, then I question their will to succeed. Well, I think from a, you know, in terms of relationship with artists, I want this to be a, you know, a full service I want to be a, you know, a holistic artist service company. And I mean, I think for what I mean by that is being able to provide a platform for our artists in whatever means they choose. So, and able to add value in every aspect of their business. That's obviously from recording, through to live, through to our brand partnerships, through to sync licensing. Be able to actually wrap that around because we have such a deep understanding of music consumers and we have a better understanding of how consumers and brands work together. Um, and really <coughs> add value for this. And therefore, if we add value across all aspects of their career, then we'll be able to participate uh, and justify the participation in all aspects of their career. Um, you know, I always look at Sony saying, you know, for me, I want us to be the number one artist service company in the world. I want us to be the place where artists naturally gravitate towards because, you know, A, we have deep understanding and we provide a platform where we really add value. And I mean, I'll get a little Sony now on you. This is the one big advantage for Sony in this space is, is we're part of this huge consumer electronics company. We have a mobile company and there's PlayStation and Sony Picture Entertainment. And we're working quite hard as a group to actually say, OK, how can we have a one Sony view on everything we do, whether it's mobile or whether it's content or whether it's picture entertainment? And we're working towards that. And I think that's exciting for us.